first off, Lakeshore Drive nestled next to Lake Michigan. That's where you find historic Soldier Field in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Johnson and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there he was brought well, that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that feeling like okay i can stand up when the going gets tough in here Second and seven now from the 28. Now Johnson. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Trubisky will throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Number 80. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. Certainly not the start they were looking for offensively coming off that loss last week on the road. And they didn't do their job. They're going to feel poorly about that. But what they're going to do is look at the defense and say, can you pick us up here? And let's face it, defenses can score. We've seen it, right? They can take the ball away, create a big-time opportunity. Let's see if they can get that done. Yeah, just something to jumpstart this home crowd. At their own 24-yard line. Former Terrapin, this is Kai Johnson. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now it's Allen. Open man is Galladay complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available 
and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen off the play fake. He's going to try and go deep again. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 23. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air. And then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Trubisky. Screen play, Johnson. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. the gun on third down it's Trubisky he'll drop this one down to Cohen and they will touch him down but not before he gets the first good it's an eight yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs first and ten at the 39 yard line So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll take this one down to the 36. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll run it with Johnson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Trubisky now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. A 49-yard attempt. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. 
The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Room to run at the 50. Jamal Agnew. I need to get my swag. And they're not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Detroit. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They were yeah. happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Kalen Balaj. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six at the 39-yard line. They go play action with Trubisky. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. First down, a run with Cohen. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Touchdown, Chicago! Tariq Cohen, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears have retaken the lead. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good. It tried to drop it in there, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. Intercepted. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now.
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to record his fifth sack of the season. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. The and the Lions will take over. At their own 38 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Second down now. Mcintosh. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Third down, McIntosh. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Brings up fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and run for it. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. He's going to look deep down the field. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Up, 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. At the 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Julian Okwara in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Throwing here, Trubisky. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here. Two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Going up top. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. T.J. Green with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. The Bears are sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Second and 12 now at the 44-yard line. They go play action. Trubisky firing quickly here, and that's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still... No yardage. yardage. Okay. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On third down, Trubisky. And firing a deep ball for Komet. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. 
And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Running from the gun, Johnson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Throw in deep for Galladay. And got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Lions, first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. The tackle made. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Try and throw on third down. Escaping the pressure right. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears D. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. offense ready to go for their next drive and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot Logan Wilson that time there to bring him down so we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. 
And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. First down, Lions. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. First and goal. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Lions have broken our tie as they take the lead. Makes the score Lions Extra point good by Prater. And that makes it a 17-10 score. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. 25-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Come up now, second and four from the 31. We won it. Come lock in, lock in. Here's Johnson. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Play action. Now Trubisky. 
He gets it left side to Johnson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. On second and 12, Trubisky completing it to the right side, Johnson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up four. So the kick from here, a field goal, would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. They run. It's Johnson. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Lions will take over. offense ready to kick off their next drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there three yards the game there second down Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll try the left side. McIntosh. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. It's a game Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got a man, Slayton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. First down, Detroit. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 19-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. 
Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Johnson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Flush to his right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Allen to throw once more. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Allen, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last. Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. We'll chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. The Bears on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Trubisky. Throw left side complete. That's McLaughlin. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. A lot 
of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Trubisky to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Trubisky will throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there. First down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's McLaughlin. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Trubisky. Throw left side, complete. It's Johnson. Three yards the game there, second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Play action, it's Trubisky. Going for it all. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And it'll bring up third down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The Bears on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Again, it's Trubisky. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the three-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I would think down two scores at this point in the fourth quarter, even with the loss there on first down, this has got to be four down territory. If you're the field goal kicker, your only purpose now is if you can run out for a pass or actually carry the ball into the end zone. Otherwise, don't even look at the coach. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. It's now third and goal. 
Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Trubisky to throw. And it's caught. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going forward here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Here we go with Johnson. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Duke Johnson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bears draw a bit closer. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. Makes the score Lions 24, Bears 17. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. ready to kick off their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Second and 11 at the 24-yard line. Ball at the 24 at a second and 11. They'll try and run down some block with Johnson. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And it's third down. drive the Bears offense this offense thankful I'm sure to have the football back but also Charles after a long drive of their own they've got to be a little weary yeah I would agree with that and what you have to do to combat it try and get fresh legs in where you can especially to skill positions and then for the offensive line instead of attacking maybe slow the tempo down a little bit let them catch their breath now a desperation throw deep down this is caught inside the 15 and he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory now he's been quiet all afternoon 
afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run here with Belon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Four, it's second and a couple. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Here's a run with Belage, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Kalen Belage in the final minute, and the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. Sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. The game, 24-24. Eddie Pinheiro, the kickoff. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. The Lions take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Allen to throw. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Allen. And he comes back with one complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. He'll let this go for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Intercepted. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Four to go. 
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more fun. Raider to kick off for Detroit. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they control their own destiny here they have the football in overtime obviously a touchdown would win it and I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game still having to make that transition let's face it now the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down attack put the ball in the end zone and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. At the 23, it's second and 12. Watch it, watch it. Red, red, now Johnson. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Carrier. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. A gain of a yard makes it third and 11. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. gun Trubisky gets this to his running back Tariq Cohen and he's going to come up a bit short he needed to get to the 35 for the first but he only makes it to the 34 here comes the Bears punter now on for a very important punt here in overtime Yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. First and ten at their own 23-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. And now look at him go. Pass the 20. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. Today's final a partner, score, great game Lions that we got 30, to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just huh? want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game. 
where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Detroit, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, changes could be in the air as they fall to 0-8 now on the year. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.